Hi everyone, it's Hamster Horses and Cats here and today I have our September favourites. So our first favourites this month are these chopping boards. These chopping boards are from B&M and I use these to chop veggies. These chopping boards are the perfect size to chop up my guinea pig's vegetables. As you can see here, I just have a selection of her vegetables and it fits on perfectly on the boards. They come in a wide range of colours including yellow which is currently downstairs. So they're easy to wash as well because of the material. They have had a few scratches by the knife so they do show the scratches but I don't really care because they were so cheap. I only think they're about one or two pounds so I'm not too bothered. Um, I know they'll last me quite a while and obviously I have a nice array of colours so that excites me. So my next favourite has to be this large chew tube. This is the guinea pig size one. Um, Coco and the Crazy Cavi gave us this um, when I went round to her house and this cost a pound from Asda so it's really cheap and Minstrel absolutely loves this. This is her absolute favourite toy. Everyone's told me that the guinea pigs love tunnels but I didn't expect her to go this crazy for it. As you can see she's chewed it. There must be something about this material that she just loves and other guinea pigs love to chew because as soon as I put it in she was attacking the sides like crazy so she really really does love it. Not to mention it's absolute gorgeous colours so it really brightens up her cage and it's very cheap. You can get it nearly everywhere but I know that Becky got it from Asda but I know you can buy them online in pet shops you can get them in all different sizes for all different animals so I really recommend them and it just has to be in my favourites. The next favourite has to be this cat toy it's just a stick with a feather on the end the cats go absolutely crazy for this I've had this for so long I got it when I first got Tiggs which was in October I think so it's nearly been a year and it's survived um, because usually cat toys don't so I'm really impressed, it has broken, the stick used to be really long but now it's like really short and the feathers it used to be longer but for it to last a year is pretty amazing. Ralphie and Tiggs both adore it so I really recommend this. I got it from my local pet store um, for about £2.99 I think but I know you can pick these up on Via Vet. So if you have a cat I really recommend you try them out because Ralphie is currently sleeping in his bed and he is looking at it. <laughs> So he'll probably come and pounce over it in a minute. But yes, I really recommend this cat toy if you have cats. The next product I recommend is Corny the Owl. And he is a small animal toy. Um, he's something for animals to chew and toss around. And Minstrel does really like him. As you can see, she's shredded his feet and parts of him are missing, including his nose. He's absolutely adorable, so he just has to be in my favourites. He cost me around $1.99 from my local pet hut. So I really do recommend getting one if you have rabbits, guinea pigs, hamsters, gerbils, the lot of them. They will probably love him and destroy My him. My next favourite is Jingly Cat Toys. Now, obviously I'm new to guinea pigs, so I didn't realise how much they would really love them, but I thought she wouldn't be fussed. Um, but Minstrel absolutely adores this. She is always rolling it around. Not to mention it's really cute colours. So I have loads of others of these different sizes and shapes. Um, but I honestly didn't think she'd be fussed and she goes crazy for them. You can get these in mo pla most places and I know you can pick them up for as cheap as like 50p per pack. So I would really recommend you try these out if you have guinea pigs. My next favourite has to be these nail clippers. Now when Minstrel came to me her nails were really really long and I was concerned. I got these just before I went on holiday so I did have a pair of um, nail clippers luckily for when she actually arrived because she did arrive unexpectedly but I let her settle in a few days before I clicked the, clipped them and when I did it was really easy to do um, they're really comfortable they have a nice blade to do it on and um, I didn't cut her quick at all so that was great um, for my first time attempt and it also has this little thing here to help you grip on so I'd really recommend these um, I'm not I can't really remember the brand I'll put it on the screen um, but I know you can pick these up for quite cheap. I think I paid £4 for mine, but the Pet Hut is a little overpriced. So, yes, I know you can pick these up for a little cheaper, but I really recommend them. It's sort of a necessity for rabbits and guinea pigs. My next favourite is one of these Chill and Chew mats, but it's from Sherples and Grant, and I got it from Lim and Ashed Zoo. It's from my package opening, which I'll link below if you'd like to watch, because it got me some lovely stuff, and I've only put this in her cage for a day, because I'm filming this in advance, by the way. And so she's only had it in for a day, but she's already absolutely shredded it. She loves it. 
she adores it she's nearly destroyed it well not nearly destroyed it but she has gone crazy for it and she's only had it in for one day so I can't imagine what's going to be left after a week so I have to pop this in my favourites I'm guessing it cost two to three pounds maybe depends how expensive their local pet shop is but I know this was from a local pet shop but you can probably pick them up online from the naturals range which are slightly larger and I know that rabbits adore those ones as well and this is sort of a better size one for a guinea pig so I really really recommend these because um, look at it and she's had it in for one day that is pretty impressive <laughs> my next favourite has to be the naturals summer field and this is just a herbage from the naturals range the boredom breaker as well um, I'll just open it so you can have a look so this is what it looks like, it's full of natural herbages and forages. It is pretty amazing because my guinea pig is obsessed. These little dried dandelions are her absolute favourite. But yes, I think it cost me about $1.99 or $1.60, so it wasn't expensive. It comes in a 100 gram bag, obviously it doesn't come in this container, I just stuck the label on. And I know you can pick it up most places, I got mine from the Pet Hut and I really really recommend it. It's got lovely bits of like apple in it as well which are some of her favourites so I really recommend you pick this up. My next favourite has to be this hamster toy from the Boredom Breaker range. Now I know a lot of you have probably seen this in my case shows because it was Mickey's um, and he absolutely loved it but not only that it is a great guinea pig hay dispenser sort of thing so I just stuff it with hay either side and herbage and she loves it. This is her favourite place to eat hay from. I stuff this every single day because she'll finish it um, and as you can see she's had a really nice nibble around it, it's really natural I just cut the tunnel in half as it used to be um, that long so I just cut it in half and I have two separate pieces and I know in a matter of time she would have just shredded this completely so thank you so so much for watching thank you also for well over 5,000 subscribers which is just insane thank you for your ongoing support and everything you're making my channel amazing with all your comments so thank you so so much we hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe so you can see some more videos and make sure you checked out our last video we'll see you next time bye